Hey guys, I'm about to show you the ultimate way to cure velvet. Of course, this method works really well on bettas, and it also works on a lot of other aquarium fishes, as long as they're not like those super tiny nanofish. So if you ever watched my previous video on curing velvet using hydrogen peroxide, I found out that an oxidizing agent is a very effective method to get rid of surface parasites like velvet because an oxidizer is able to burn off the protective layer called the theca of the parasites. This time we're going to use a different oxidizing agent called potassium permanganate. Then follow up with a 2 week regime of acriflavine and salt. A quick recap on potassium permanganate. It's an oxidizer that's often used as a water clarifier and a disinfectant. It has extensive use in aquaculture and ponds. The biggest benefit that potassium permanganate has over hydrogen peroxide is that it can be neutralized by, strangely enough, hydrogen peroxide and a dechlorinator. This is going to give you the ability to stop the oxidative reaction in case you fucked up. Okay, so we're going to get started by treating these infected macrostoma pairs. As you can see, they don't look that good. So the first thing is a 30 minute potassium permanganate bath. If you're unsure, you can probably do 15 minutes and repeat the process later down the line. Start by pouring in five gallons of 50% tank water and 50% clean RO water. It's important that the water you use for the bath has low in organics. This is because if you use 100% tank water, the high amount of organics in the tank water can cause the potassium permanganate to work less effective. If you watched my previous video on potassium permanganate, you'll know that if the water turns brown or red, it pretty much means that the medication is no longer active. So while your water is being filled up, go ahead and mix in 100 milligrams of potassium permanganate. I do have a microgram scooper. Um, it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty good and it's good enough for me. I like to pour in the potassium permanganate while I am pumping in fresh water. That way it just takes care of the mixing process for me. Once you get around 5 gallons, make sure to check the color of your water to make sure it's not brown. If you see a nice purple pink color, you're on the right track. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and grab my better macrostomas and plop them in the bucket. You're going to want to leave them there for 15 to 30 minutes. I know personally that these guys can take a 30 minute bath, but if you're unsure and you have a more sensitive fish, like garamis or smaller bettas, you can go ahead and do 15 minutes. It's not a bad idea to make sure you have a lid over the bucket and to routinely check on them every once in a while. Now that the fish are having a bath, I'm going to show you how to make the antiseptic solution. The antiseptic solution is composed of three main ingredients, acriflavine, methylene blue, and salt. This medicated combo is something I've been using lately to quarantine a lot of my fish. It is perhaps the most effective medication to treat external parasites and diseases. Acriflavine is a powerful antiseptic. It is very effective on external protozoan and bacterial infection. I use it extensively to quarantine my fish as well as to raise fries. I like to combine it with methylene blue since methylene blue is a really good oxygen transporter as well as a mild antiseptic. The combination does make your water look like coolant, but don't be alarmed. It's probably one of the best medication for your fish. Start with a tablespoon of salt, then add in your 100 milligrams of acriflavine, followed by 50 milligrams of methylene blue. Dosing doesn't have to be super accurate, just make sure you guys get around the ballpark. The salt acts as a bactericide, as well as helps maintain osmosis pressure for the fish. Another thing that I think it does is that it helps dehydrate the fish and helps draws out the parasites. I'm not 100% positive on that's what it's really doing, but it really does seem to help. Mix it thoroughly and then get ready to pour it into your tank. And as you can see, the solution instantly dissolves. Except for the salt, the salt might take a while to dissolve. Be sure to wait a bit because you want the medication to fully dissolve before you add your fish. As well as to make sure the water goes up to the correct temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 25 degrees Celsius for you international folks out there. After 30 minutes, you can go ahead and grab the fish and put them in your tank. It's a little hard to see, but the fish currently look like crap. Which is expected because they went through what's like a fish version of an acid pill. But don't freak out and trust in the process. Do you guys remember how bad my macrostoma look before the treatment? They were clampy and shit, lethargic, having a hard time breathing. 
So this is what they look like now after 24 hours. Both fish are looking way way better. Fins all spread out, moving around, lively. You'll also notice that most of the velvet has been pretty much eradicated. Job done? Well, not yet. You see, there's probably some parasites lingering around in the body, most likely the gills. And this is where the acryphavine and salt come into play. They will quickly eradicate any parasites that falls off and tries to reinfect the fish. Most of the velvet that you can't see are actually in the gills, where the potassium permanganate cannot reach. This is why it is very important that they stay in this medicated solution for 2-3 to three weeks. And because this medicated solution also kills bacteria, you're going to need to do your bi-weekly water changes. Okay, so let's do a quick recap while I show you a beautiful pair of macrostoma. The first step is to create a potassium permanganate solution bath from 5 gallon water, 50% of which is tank water and 50% of which is fresh water. Then you're going to add in 100 milligrams of potassium permanganate in which you will bathe your fish in for 30 minutes. Then you're going to create a medicated solution composed of acryphavine, methylene blue, and salt. Add approximately 100 milligrams, 50 milligrams, and a tablespoon of salt per 5 gallon of water. So now you're probably wondering, where the heck can I get these medication? Unfortunately, you probably can't get these at your local fish store. You might be able to find them on eBay or some specialty chemical store, but if you don't want to waste time looking for the different ingredients, I got you. On my website, you can buy these pre-mixed bags for about 10 bucks. They come with a 100 milligram scooper for ease of dosing. The amount is good for a 3 week dose and multiple potassium permanganate bath. Obviously, you can get a better deal if you source the medication yourself, but the little amount of money that I make from this will support me and my channel, which I'm really grateful for. The links for the products are in the description below. Like always guys, let me know if you guys have any questions down on the comment below. Being a small channel, I do read every single comment and I try at my best ability to answer them. I have a bunch of ideas for different kind of videos, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody.